Did you know how old and how long it took China to build this water bridge? The Yangtze River is crossed by the four-lane steel Nanjing Yangtze River Bridge. There are two levels. A road for vehicles, buses, and trucks is on the upper level. Additionally, there is a walkway for pedestrians. Its length is 15,052 feet or 4,588 meters. There is a railroad for trains on the lowest level. That section measures 6,772 meters or 22,218 feet. The Yangtze River is very long and broad. People have occasionally constructed pontoon bridges from multiple boats during wartime. People often had to use a ferry to travel between two sides. As a result, things moved quite slowly and China's economy grew more slowly. In today's video, we'll show you how China built the revolutionary water bridge. But before we get started, we kindly ask that you show your support by liking and subscribing to China Mega Projects. We also value your opinions, so we encourage you to discuss these groundbreaking technologies in the comments section. Let's begin our fantastic voyage without further ado. Here's how big the Yangtze is. More than 400 million people, or one-third of China's total population, reside in the Yangtze River Basin. About half of the fish and two-thirds of the rice consumed in China come from the Yangtze Basin. Up to 40% of China's whole GDP comes from its industries in agriculture. The variety of animals and plants that live in or around this enormous river, the largest in Asia and third longest in the world, makes it extremely significant as well. But as the Yangtze is used more frequently and becomes more polluted, that fauna has been suffering. The beloved Yangtze River dolphin, thought to be gone, it hasn't been spotted since 2002 is one prominent fatality. When did the construction begin? A good question. Here we go. In 1960, construction of the Nanjing Yangtze River Bridge began. In late 1968, both components were finalized and made available for usage. After the bridge at Wuhan and the Bai Shatuo Bridge near Chongqing, it was the third bridge over the Yangtze River. Because it was the first significant bridge entirely created and constructed by Chinese people, it is still significant in a landmark in Nanjing. It also includes poetry, quotes, and artwork from the Cultural Revolution. It is also notorious for being the location of the majority of public suicides worldwide. Since the bridge is opening, more than 2,000 individuals have plunged to their deaths from it. The Wuhan Yangtze River Bridge is the first bridge to cross the Yangtze River, connecting Mount Guishan in Hanyang with Mount Sheshan in Wuchang. The 1,156-meter main bridge, 303-meter approach bridge on the northwest side, and 211-meter approach bridge on the southeast bank make up the 1,670-meter long bridge. The bridge has two decks and is 80 meters high. It is a dual-track rail bridge that is 14 and a half meters wide for the lower deck. The top deck, on the other hand, is a highway bridge with a width of 22 and a half meters, a four-lane carriageway that is 18 meters wide, and sidewalks in both sides that are 2.25 meters wide. Wondering and looking at what China is building, it is astonishing to see them make this amazing progress. To get more information on that, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Here we go. What and what was used in constructing this river bridge? Construct materials. The bridge uses continuous triple module beams. There are eight piers and eight spans altogether, with three spans in each module. Each span is 128 meters long. Large diameter reinforced concrete tubular columns and large scale tubular column drilling technique were used to build the deep water foundation. For the first time, the steel girder cantilever erection method was used in China. The bridge was recognized by the 60th anniversary of China's founding as one of the top 100 classic construction projects. National Highway 104 spans the Nanjing Yangtze River Bridge. In addition, it connects to highways 205 and 312. The Beijing Shanghai Railway runs through the bridge. The railroad is used by slow trains. A separate bridge is used by the high speed trains running between Beijing and Shanghai. The Nanjing Xi'an and Nanjing Qidong railways share the same line. The Shanghai Chengdu High Speed Railway also uses it. However, the trains can't cross the bridge very quickly. Chairman Ma complimented the Wuhan Yangtze River Bridge, calling it a bridge spanning south and north changes the natural moat into a thoroughfare. The Wuhan Yangtze River Bridge, a well known icon of the city, was built starting in September 1955 and was finished in October 1957. Having seen the date of the construction, how old is the bridge? 
The 56-year-old Wuhan Yangtze River Bridge was one of 29 sites in the city that were chosen for protection, as evidenced by the Directory of the 7th Batch of Major Historical and Cultural Sites Protected at the National Level, published on May 3, 2013. The longest and tallest bridges in the world are both located in China, yet none is as innovative as the Nanjing Yangtze River Bridge. The double-deck bridge, which was constructed during the turbulent Cultural Revolution in China, was revolutionary when it was inaugurated in 1968. For some, though, the fact that it was the first modern bridge created and constructed entirely by Chinese engineers is more significant. Yes, the bridge should be a source of pride to China. The bridge, which is still a source of pride in Nanjing, the former capital of China, is undergoing significant renovations in time for its 50th anniversary next year. According to Lu Andong, a professor at Nanjing University's School of Architecture and Urban Planning, the initiative's leader, a study commissioned by railway officials, intends to protect the bridge's heritage by chronicling its history. He remarked, The bridge was so important and it's unquestionably a symbol of the city. I would relish the chance to transform the tower of the bridge and the associated park into places of memory, the man said. It is being repaired for transportation and safety purposes. Made in China Bridge China had first wanted to construct a bridge between Nanjing and its Soviet allies. The Soviets once more provided technical support after previously aiding in the construction of a crossing at Wuhan approximately 280 miles up the river. But the two countries' ties deteriorated quickly when construction started in 1960. Before the Sino-Soviet split, the deterioration of ties between the two main communist nations starting in 1960, Soviet scientists withdrew from the project. Nevertheless, it took eight years to finish the bridge. China viewed the achievement as a significant engineering achievement as well as a propaganda success. The bridge, which is nearly 5,000 feet long, carries both autos and trains. The railroad lines are now part of the Beijing-Shanghai train route, while its top deck is a four-lane expressway with walkways. Everyone adores the bridge, according to Wang Shiking, a longtime resident of Nanjing who has amassed over 1,000 items of memorabilia related to the Nanjing Yangtze River Bridge. It's a source of pride, especially for local Nanjing people, he claims. A quick one. If you've not subscribed, please kindly do that now. Fast forward and boom, new beginning again for China. The Nanjing Yangtze River Bridge has gained popularity as a place for suicide, much like other prominent bridges like as San Francisco's Golden Gate. However, it is most known among Nanjing citizens for drastically altering city life. People and goods could only cross the river by ferry before the bridge was completed. It was necessary to deconstruct and load trains traveling through the city onto boats in order for them to continue their voyage. The bridge altered the life of the citizens of the city once it was finished. Wang, who was born in the same year the bridge opened, stated that in terms of function, it made people's lives so much easier. It shortened the time needed to cross the river and acted as the primary route for transportation from north to south. According to Liu, the bridge brought together several artistic depictions of development and technology. It's not just infrastructure, but also a piece of architecture, he remarked. Like Italian futurist works, the bridge's shape communicated speed, penetration, and force flow. The bridge's shape aims to convey an internal flow of forces, as if it were only a conduit for energy. On the ground, however, the bridge's tower's spatial arrangement adopted conventional architectural vocabulary, including a platform, a processional path, and a central entry. This design was very significant and became a standard example of Chinese contemporary architecture. The equation has a lasting effect. China, an icon of pop modernity. The Nanjing Yangtze River Bridge has sculptures representing peasants, laborers, and soldiers as well as statements from Mao Zedong in a 230-foot monument of the former dictator. When referring to the three sculptures in the form of flags that were located atop the bridge's towers, Wang commented, the red flags and magnolia decorations are very Chinese. The three red banners were a significant propaganda effort during the Cultural Revolution, and their representation in the specific design is a reflection of that effort. The banners stood for political philosophies that supported the establishment of a socialist state in China. The bridge frequently appeared in propaganda posters, which were eager to indicate that the building symbolized the great victory of Mao Zedong thought, the political ideology known outside of China as Maoism, by claiming that it was a great victory of Maoism. 
The following Mao quotation was found on one of these posters. Chinese people have drive and strength. We have to reach and overtake levels of advancements across the world. The bridge, which was built at a difficult period in China's history, had a significant cultural influence, according to Liu. He remarked, The bridge is one of the most renowned works of the Cultural Revolution period. It serves as a political monument as well as a representation of progress in both technology and history. The bridge was transformed into a popular symbol of modernity after appearing on bicycles, shoes, mirrors, shoes, mugs, and pencils across the country. The people who bear its names continue to carry on the bridge's heritage. Numerous Nanjing residents, according to Wang, gave their firstborn Zhang Zhang, or Chinese for Yangtze, and their second Da Chao, which means Big Bridge, last names. Restoring Former Glories A 27-month repair schedule for the bridge was authorized in April 2016 by China's main planning agency, the National Development and Reform Commission. A government assessment claims that safety and durability risks had a major role in the choice. However, the building itself will also undergo a makeover. A sum of $160.7 million will be invested on the restoration of some of the famous statues, especially those that are located near the banks of adjacent rivers. The bridge's sculptures will be strengthened, and railings and piers will also get some TLC. Lou expects that the improvements will revive interest in both the bridge and the city's historical significance, as newer generations are less aware of it. The older generation obviously takes more pride in the bridge, he observed. It's crucial to creatively resurrect the memory of the bridge so that individuals of all ages may feel and comprehend the memories associated with it. We would love to hear your thoughts and insights in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with more fascinating content. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!